As the next winter storm makes its way to Kentucky, Pike County can expect to see rain and possible ice throughout the next few days. Wednesday, we spoke with Pike County Emergency Management Director Nee Jackson about the current weather situation. Just had a conference call with the National Weather Service. Uh, looks like the um, timing for Pike County uh, looks like it mostly is going to be rain. Uh, in the neighborhood of two to three inches is what the predictions are. Um, it'll also, uh, there's a potential between midnight and 7 a.m. Of, of some freezing rain. Uh, they're saying less than a tenth of an inch um, of, of freezing rain. The way that the, the storm looks right now, it doesn't look like it's going to have any potential for um, river flooding, nor does it look like it's going to have a potential for uh, small stream flooding because they say the concentration of the rain here is going to be a more of a constant type rain. It's not going to be a deluge type rain where it's it's all going to come at one time. Once it starts, it's just going to be a it's going to be a fairly moderate rain. They said, but it's not going to be. Um, it, we're not going to be inundated in one hour, you know, with an extreme amount of rain. At Pikeville Medical Center, we believe that together we can make a difference in the fight against cancer. We are proud to have patients who have experienced successful outcomes over many years. As always, we believe in the power of faith. Pikeville Medical Center, where cancer can be defeated. Even while Pike County may not see snow, the National Weather Service says we could expect ice. Uh, they say more than likely it's going to come as freezing rain first, and then it could transition into some sleet. Um, but like I say, they, uh, they're saying less than a tenth of an inch there. Uh, and a lot of it, of course, will have to do with temperatures as well. Lastly, Jackson says residents living in higher elevations should check roadways before getting out. For updates or for more information, you can download the service app smart911.com. For Mountaintop News, I'm Joel Cordial.